Oh man, man, man. It's been a rough Thursday going into the weekend. I hope everything goes good. Um, first things first, I want to give a shout out to everyone that's been affected by the Hurricane Debbie, Tropical Storm Debbie, which is now heading its way up north, getting into New York. Um, hold on one second, y'all. It's 6.30 in the morning. I'm usually up around this time in my little office getting everything ready for work. And it is like not bad because we're still dealing with rain, but it's just kind of like still humid. And because, you know, I live with this AC unit that I've had for probably over a decade. Um, storm surges came through about six o'clock in the morning, right around this time yesterday. And uh, yeah, it took some things out, man. And I'm not sure if it's because of the line, you know, the power line that runs from my uh, house to the street, you know, the neighbor's branches have been entwined in there for, I don't know how long, but um, I work for the power company. So I was able to get the limbs because yeah, they were pressing on my line and that's a safety issue and that could cause a fire with, and with winds, you know, so of course uh, the company I work for, they came out and cut the limbs, what can be cut. Uh, so in the meantime, yeah, it's like a, it's like a cool sauna in here. So, um, working on getting things hopefully done today. Um, hopefully getting this AC unit in because it's like, I mean, I know I normally want to talk about an AC unit, but it's like, yeah, humid, hot. I got a lot of equipment and toys. So yeah, I got to get this done. Um, but shout out to everyone that's been affected by the storm. I hope everything is fine for you. And I hope you're doing well and I hope things clear up because, you know, tropical storms, hurricanes are dangerous if you don't pay attention to them. Um, but we're going to talk about the new TFA Lao Convoy and their new in-hand pictures of the uh, United Deluxe Optimus Prime. Let's go. So, yes, in the background, I have my windows open. So you probably hear nature. <laughs> it's going to sound like that. But let's move on. So the 40th, 40th selection TF40A. Lao Convoy. So in America, we got Leo Prime. Um, I'm not going to say it's good. You know, the shoulder where the lion head is just, you know, it's, that's probably like the worst part of the robot. The robot itself is pretty good. Um, but this one, though, they've made some changes, mainly with the main and, you know, the lion face, which is very animation accurate. And also, it's more kind of like the old school Lao Convoy, and he has the newer claw feet as on his arms instead of those weird looking paws. Um, he's got extra paint on the abdomen. Um, the Matrix is painted, the nipple Matrix, and I think they gave him more of that, you know, deep red and, you know, like royal blue colors that uh, Takara will do. So if you're a fan of Lao Convoy, this is the one to pick up, and it's not really that bad. It's going to be about close to 50 but you know we're doing import prices so you know how that goes but i definitely would pick this up without question next next is going to be another hot item as we know ss86 optimus prime is polarizing as it is the majority of the people want the figure they love it you know other people may not but you know like i said before <laughs> i know better and this one is just as good so if you didn't get you know the uh missing link toys you can get a more modern version and i think this is probably the best bang for buck because it's 25 bucks you know or 25.99 um i mean it looks like g1 optimus prime there's a little notch there for a trailer so i'm wondering if we're going to see this again with more of an animation deco and maybe a trailer you know speculations we can go into that i think we're going to get a trailer or at least third party is going to make a trailer but you got to admit, man, this actually is the best of both worlds. Each time I look at this Optimus Prime, I go, man, they did, you know, the, the, the modern era of how we do things along with the G1 look. I'm going to say it's just downright impressive. And, you know, if it comes with like a special edition with the trailer, I'm buying it too. So I know y'all going to get mad, but you got to admit the, uh, it's Optimus Prime. This one is cool, man. I mean. Does he come in the Matrix? I don't know. Can't tell. These are in-hand images from a man not rap as usual. Um, because it's probably already been out. You know, you know how it goes. It's not set to release till January 2025. So yeah, it's figured probably floating around just like how Commander Class Optimus um, was floating around. Um, but 
yeah, this is going to be the Optimus Prime to pick up. I see a lot of third party potential with the trailer. Um, maybe other accessories. So yeah, this Optimus Prime is definitely going to get snatched up. I made my pre-orders. I don't like pre-order, but I pre-ordered too because I said, no, I'm not going to sit here and fight and try to get this Optimus Prime. I want this Optimus Prime. I think this is better than that Mattel one, um, you know, which this makes more sense. Um, it's just more economical. Um, as far as the TFA Lyle Convoy, like I said, again, if you're a fan of Beast Wars the second and a fan of Lyle Convoy, then yes, you definitely pick that up. Don't even look at the other ones. Definitely pick it up. Um, but what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. Both of these are going to be definitely in my collection for sure. And that's it. Super Robot it. Bring in more news and reviews until then. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. But no, I just again, you know, keep an eye out for people that are, you know, hurt by the storm. And if you can't help, help where you can. Peace.